Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing good. This is Ruba here and today I'm doing another Brickmania kit review. And today we have a Soviet kit. This is going to be a Gus AAA medium duty military truck. And it's designed by Nathan Parker. Does not come with any minifigures, so you can see right off the bat. Let's go ahead and have a look at the stats. Uh, 251 Lego elements, uh, 2 out of 5. And this side of the box as well. Well, since this is going to be not just one kit review, <laughs> this is a combo special. I'm doing a review of this clamshell, fairly small Brickmania kit, KP249 Soviet Field Kitchen. And a little stats on that. It's one out of five. Quite small design by Jack Marquise. Yeah, so we have a kind of two Brickmania sets that are go very nicely in tandem. So let's go ahead and have a look at both of them right here. Let's go ahead and move them up closer. So here we go. Here we have uh, our Gus AAA truck. And you know, the way I like to do my stuff, I do like to start a little bit about the history of the vehicle before getting into the build itself. And the way I get my historical information is super reliable. I basically just go to Wikipedia and get it from there. So what I've read on this vehicle, basically it's a clone or it's completely based on Ford AA or WB truck. So Soviets had at the time a license. What they did is they produced about 1 million actually throughout the total kind of production run of this vehicle of Gus AA. And AA essentially just, it's a four by two here. What we're looking at is Gus AAA, which is a different version. This is a six. So we have two wheels in the back. So this is a six by four, with, which makes it very throat capable vehicle. They produce about 35,000 of Gus AAA, once again, the ones that is off-road capable, with the two back wheels right here. And they made a bunch of variations of this vehicle. I mean, there's a tons of them. Just to name a few, they made MLRS version, which is Katyusha. They made a radio truck version. They made a 4M, which is like the four machine gun version. They stuck artillery in the, in the back of the trailer, in the back as well. They made a bus version. And of course, mainly they use it as a troop transport and a cargo transport for the military purposes. They even attempted to make it as a half track, yeah, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, there was also various armored versions built. So I'm gonna put a picture up here and you can even see the one that was captured by Germans and then used afterwards. The production of Gus AAA essentially lasted throughout the World War II until the factory that way was produced was bombed by Luftwaffe and then the longer could have made them. So yeah, so at the end of the day, it was a very important vehicle for the Soviets for logistical point of view and just overall kind of war efforts. So here we go. That's basically a little bit of an overview on uh, this Gus AAA. I don't have much to say about the field kitchen other than it kind of looks like this. And yeah, and they kind of opted out for that kind of look from Brickmania, as Brickmania did offer that pretty awesome option of getting this field kitchen as well. All right, let's go ahead and maybe do a little bit of a 360 on this and talk about the actual build. Build-wise, I want to start off off, off the bed right now. Uh, just mention something about this wheel right here. This is a 3D printed wheel. So the original kit did not come with the 3D printed wheels. It came with the same wheels as we have here in the back. So the front one was exact the same. So what I've done is actually I replaced the front wheel with a CCKW wheel that came in this kit right here. And this kit came with the two spare wheels that went behind the cap right here. So essentially I just took those out, um, kind of replaced the original ones. I'll just put them back here. Uh, in the back of CCKW and then apply them to to the guts and I think they look very nice it fits it fits the truck super well definitely adds it to look I'm not sure how many sprockets it has of course this is again comes from the different kind of uh, vehicle but I do think it definitely adds a whole lot to the look of this model so I wish Brickmania kind of maybe charged a little bit more, but then also added at least the front a printed wheel. Even the CCKW wheel, I think would even worked, although maybe it's not 100% accurate to the actual Gus build. So we have some printed elements up front. So we have grill printed from multiple pieces actually. And we have a windshield also printed. So let me get a closer look. I do have a minifig inside. Once again, this kit does not come minifig. It's just, I just placed a standalone 
Brickmania Fig in there. And we have quite nice canvas on top. No problems at all having that in place. Let's go ahead and maybe remove the, the field kitchen really quickly and see how the back looks like. So you can definitely lift this up. And this is the other side of the canvas. And you can place your mini figs in there or if you do want to some kind of, uh, you know, the Russian DP-28 machine guns. That would work as well. Yeah, the build was pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult in here. Let me just look this side as well. So in the back we have dualies, single wheel in the front. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the field kitchen. All right, so here we go. So we have a field kitchen right here. You do have a little bit of a section when you can open this up. And when you build it, they actually do give you a little bit of a kind of see-through piece there, one by one by one, which will present like a fireplace or something. Uh, this is also printed right here. So we have a log printed. And I think this is a Brickmania element. This is not Lego. Lego does make something similar. And we have a couple canisters, which is the two elements that were printed here and two elements printed here as well. So for the, you know, for the food, for the soup or whatever else, for the military rations. Very nice, small, easy to put together build. Looks very nice. And of course, you know, it looks even nicer when you put those together with the truck. Here we go. We have this attached to the back of the, the gas truck. And this is what it looks like. It's just for funsies, compare this gas truck to CCKW and the tank and see how they stack up size wise. All right, so here we go. Is a quick size comparison between CCKW and then the gas AAA. So it does look like gas AAA is a little bit smaller than the CCKW. I do like that. The windshield here is printed, that's very nice. All right, let's go ahead, take this guy out of the way and stack it up next to a T-34 tank. So this is the size comparison between T-34 and then the gauze. And this is what it looks like them following each other. So let's go ahead and connect this guy back up here. So you guys let me know, how do you feel about this build, this kit? I think it does look pretty awesome. Actually this one, you can, I forgot to mention that this one has a little stand as well. So you can actually place it just kind of by itself, standing up. It doesn't have to be towed all the time. And then if you want to tow it, you can connect it really easily to the back of the truck. So here we go. So let me know what you think about this kit. I think it's pretty awesome. I think the combo goes very nicely together. I'm really happy I was able to get that from, from Brookesimo, but then of course Mayberg Big Mania. I hope you enjoyed this short overview. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this a little bit interesting. If you do like it, go ahead, put a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye for now. All right. So for everyone who stayed <laughs> to the very, very end, I do have some bonus content, not related so much to the Lego itself, but I found my dad's old Soviet pins. And the reason I'm showing those off, it's because they're from that city. So the city of Gorky and then the logo that's on those vehicles, Gus, has this deer or I don't know. Yeah. So it has a deer on top of it. And of course, that came from a symbol of the, of the city where these vehicles were built. So here we go, we have that and we have, uh, basically, yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting to get those uh, deer pins out here. And yeah, thanks for watching, uh, even the, the extra bonus content, I appreciate it.